I'm going to try really hard not to talk and ramble because that's usually what happens when I haven't been here for a while. So yeah. <laughs> hello, hello. Welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a little minute. I've been away from my YouTube channel. Um, I apologize. I kind of did it without really keeping you guys in the loop. Um, so I've just been going through a lot of transformational things. So um, yeah, that's a that's another story for another time. But this video is all about five ways that you can help heal your depression. And if you're new here, my name is Arielle. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. And if you are not new, thank you for coming back to my channel and my videos. I really appreciate you so, so much. So um, this is just a guide. There are also other ways um, that you can deal with depression, but these are what helped me since I do suffer from depression. Um, it does come back. It's, it's something that for me, it's something that's not going to just go away. Um, it's always gonna be here, so I just need to kind of be aware and know what steps to do so I don't fall into it. So that being said, like I said, if you are new here, I would really, really appreciate it if you subscribe because when you do that, it really does help support my channel. And if you like this video so I can create more videos like this and comment down below any other videos that you guys um, suggest because um, a lot of things have been shifting in my life and I really want to give you guys a little bit more. So definitely comment down below any videos that you have that you want me to make. I just want to give like a trigger warning now. This video this video might be a little triggering for you, so um, I apologize. That's not my intent. My intent is to help you if you do need help and be that shoulder that you can cry on or a resource if you do need one. So let's talk about depression a little bit. Um, I feel like a lot of people do suffer with it. Ugh, I apologize right now. I forgot to mention. Um, they're working on the house next door, so you might hear everything that they're doing. Um, it's something that I can't really control. So I'm really sorry if you hear any of that. Um, I tried to get up early enough to, you know, beat them, but they start at random times, so I never know when they're gonna start. <laughs> so yeah, let's talk about depression. Um, so I feel like a lot of people do suffer from it and they don't have like resources or like someone to talk to um and then that could lead into you know um bad thoughts um i do have a video um going about like my journey and how i kind of dealt with depression and my um suicidal thoughts and all of that so let's talk about five ways how to heal depression these are what helped me like i said before um, so the first one is definitely a morning routine. You want to make sure that you have your morning routine and it can be at any time. I preferably like to wake up early in the morning. And to be honest, I was not a morning person at all. I would wake up at like 12, one o'clock every day. Um, this was before obviously I was working, <laughs> but um, I would just wake up at that time and kind of just like, as soon as I woke up, I would go run on my phone and just do like unhealthy habits that really wasn't, um, good for me so definitely a morning routine um like i said i like to wake up early and then i have like a whole routine i like to wash my face brush my teeth um get into my spiritual practices which is another thing that i think will help um so definitely getting into a spiritual practice that could be yoga that could be exercise that could be meditation um and then practicing gratitude for sure so yoga has changed my life in like I can't even explain like when I went through yoga teacher training like it was just me finding myself again and it was just like it was so magical and if if you are interested in yoga at all or you know um, wanting to better your practice or serve others I highly highly recommend you go to yoga teacher training because you really find yourself in that training and you really listen to your body and you can feel all of the stagnant energy that's in there it's just like it's an amazing thing and i really am appreciative for my yoga teacher training so i definitely think a yoga practice will help you you can even start slow you don't have to do inversions handstands um all these wild poses that you see you can really just start small you can even do restorative or yin yoga which is a more slower pace um they have a lot of videos on youtube i definitely recommend yoga with bird i also have some you, you <laughs> I also have some YouTube videos um, coming out that are going to be for yoga. I do have a couple on there now, but I do want to create some more for you guys. So um, it's going to be a better resource for you, but highly recommend yoga um, and meditation is another one that I highly recommend because they're getting so loud. I'm sorry, <laughs> because um, with meditation, you sit with your thoughts and instead of just 
being stuck to that one thought, you have to really um, practice and train your brain to kind of let go of those thoughts. It's not really about you doing meditation wrong. It's about you practicing mindfulness and awareness. So that's another thing that will help because when you meditate, you can see like, okay, so why am I depressed? Oh, you know, like I'll give an example. I lost my job. Um, you know, um, things just aren't going right in my life. Like I spilled coffee on me. Like just, I'm just thinking of like random things, but like just things like that, you can figure out why you are in that funk and then you can try to shift your mindset so meditation is definitely a great thing and i usually recommend um for beginners that you do a guided meditation because you don't really have to think too much you just kind of listen to this person that's talking to you so um that would be a little bit easy for you i also recommend meditating before bed um because you know you're about to go to sleep anyway even though you really want to stay awake for meditating but um It'll be easier for you if you're new, since you're already about to go to sleep, you can just kind of just lay there and with your thoughts and nothing else, no phone, um, you can have music, you can even have like the guided meditation like I mentioned, so meditating for sure. Um, and then along with meditating, practicing gratitude has been a huge thing for me because um, being depressed, you just think about like, you know, you have sad thoughts, you have bad thoughts and practicing gratitude just kind of it just raises your vibration in a whole different way because you just appreciate everything. Like, and it could be something small. Like I appreciate, um, I, you know, I appreciate the camera that I'm using to talk to you. I'm appreciating this mic that I use um, to have better audio, you know? Um, so you can really just practice gratitude in any type of way. Like I'm thankful for the air that I breathe. I'm just, I'm thankful for the food that was provided for me. Just something, I usually do um, three, um, I usually write down three things that I'm grateful for every day just to practice that gratitude and not just practicing the gratitude, but actually feeling like you're grateful, you know, not just like, like, oh yeah, I'm grateful for this. Like you really want to feel it so you can really feel your energy and your vibration changing. So along with all those, number two for the five ways to heal your depression is nature walks. Go out in nature. That's all I gotta say. Nature will fix you. Like literally just listen to everything that's surrounding you smell what's in the air tap into all of your senses and nature has got you i promise you you will feel better as soon as you step out into nature go to the park even walk around your block admire um the birds the trees everything and this is also another way of meditating um i like to do it um I like to do it when I'm out in the park because you just really, you're tapping into the present moment. You're tapping into, well, you know, the leaves on this tree are really green and you know, this bird just sounds so beautiful. You're really just listening to all your surrounding sounds, even if there's like construction, AKA up over there, because there's things you can't control. Like I can't control that. I can't ask them to stop. They're gonna keep doing what they're doing. I can't get mad that they're doing this because they don't even know what I'm doing and that's interfering with that. Like, you know what I mean? Back to what I was saying. So go on, going out to nature and just surrounding yourself with all the elements that you can. You can feel the wind and you know, see the ocean waves if you're by a lake or something. Um, but I, nature, nature's got you. Nature has got you. <laughs> so number three would be eat less meat. So I know I'm gonna have a lot of people right now against me. Not not even against me. Just saying like, really eating less meat. Like yes, I'm telling you. So the meat is heavy in your body. And it's, it's a little bit harder to digest. Um, I usually suggest to people to just try one day of the week, meatless Monday, if you wanna make meatless tacos or like a Beyond Meat Burger or something, I think it will definitely help. And not only just eating less meat, but eating nutritional foods, like eating things that'll help your body, not just like, yeah, so if you are plant-based, you're gonna eat fries and, you know, I can't think of anything else right now, but um, you know, like, Eat, eating nutritional food, so having like a salad and you know drinking your greens, making smoothies, things that really help your body um, with nutrition because that's that's all of these fried foods are so low vibrational. You want high vibrational foods to help you boost that depression that you're in. So definitely nutritional foods are going to help you out in this moment. So definitely 
just try it out. Try it out before you, you come at me. Just try it, see how you feel. And if, it, if it's not for you, it's not for you. So kind of piggybacking off of what I said about your morning routine is I add journaling into the mix. So after I meditate, I really sit um, down and I just kind of go through what I was going through when I was meditating. And if even if I wasn't meditating, I just kind of just go to my journal. If I have something that I need to say or like, instead of putting off my thoughts or pushing it down into my stomach, I really just let it all out in my journal. Um, sometimes I do free flow, which is just writing. You don't even have to have a purpose or a rhyme or reason, just, just write. And then you, like I've done that before and I've come out with like three pages. I'm like, oh my God, I only wanted to write like a little bit, but definitely journaling will help so, so much. And I was not a believer in journaling at all, but my friend, really convinced me she's like you really have to journal so i'm like okay i will journal and i literally love her for that because it has saved me in so many situations it has helped me re respond instead of react to situations you see what i mean so definitely journaling journaling all your thoughts and feeling all your feelings like this is the one thing I don't understand about society. I don't understand why they keep telling us to push down our feelings and like, don't talk about your feelings. Like why, what is so wrong about our feelings? Like if I want to cry, I'm going to cry. If I want to laugh, I'm going to laugh. And even if I'm in a good mood and I want to cry, like I'm just going to cry because I know that later on energetically, it's going to be stuck in my body and I'm going to feel that or it's going to come up again. So you avoiding those feelings is, I don't recommend it at all because I feel like it's feeding into your depression. So if you just feel all the feels, sit with it without any judgment, I promise you, you will start to feel better. And then the last thing going off of that is talking to a close friend, if you have a friend at all um, that you can that you feel that you can talk to about this. Um, you know, they are there are like numbers that you can call, but sometimes that's not so personal. So if you have a friend that you can talk to and just say like, hey, I'm really feeling this way, I would really appreciate if you just listen. They don't even have to say anything. You could just talk their ear off and I'm sure they wouldn't mind if they're your trusted friend um, because I've had that happen before. And you know, the person, if they really truly love you and they're there for you, they appreciate you coming to them rather than you just sitting by yourself alone dark in a dark room you know, replaying all those bad thoughts in your head. Um, this is one thing that I have learned because when I was younger, when I did suffer from depression, I really didn't have anyone I could really talk to. So um, I'm, I go more into this in my uh, to the, my honest journey video, but I didn't have anyone that I could talk to or anyone that I can turn to. So I just, I felt alone and I was alone with those same repeating thoughts. I didn't know how to journal. I didn't know how to nature walk. I didn't know all these things. Like I knew it, but I didn't know it. So definitely talking to a friend, um, even while like you, like before you feel those symptoms of depression, um, usually when I do feel those symptoms, I can tell um, and I usually talk to my boyfriend or my friend or someone that I feel I trusted that I can talk to, you know, so definitely reaching out to a friend. And if you don't have anybody, I'm always here, like follow me on Instagram, send me a DM, send me an email. I'm always here if you have no one to talk to, because I understand I've been through it for years and I, I know, I know what it's like to not have anybody there. So if you need a friend, I'm here for you, I promise, and I will not judge you in any type of way of any situation that you have. So yeah, those are the five ways to help heal your depression. There's also um, other ways you can do it, like there's crystals you can incorporate with your meditating. Um, I have a whole video talking about emotional healing with crystals. Um, you know, there's tarot reading. There's like a whole bunch of things in the spiritual world that you can do. But these, like I said, are the five steps that have helped me. And of course I incorporate the crystals and uh, the tarot reading and all the other stuff. Like, look, I'm covered in crystals. Uh, those are the five things that helped me um, when my re my depression resurfaced when we were in lockdown uh, last year. So that has helped me. 100% and I hope that it helps you. So if you have any questions about anything that I discussed, definitely leave it down in the comment section down below and I promise I will get back to you. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I would really, really appreciate for you to join my little community here and hit that like button to tell me that you like these videos and I will keep creating them. It needs to be addressed a lot more and if you want, I can even talk about like, I, 
it's hard for me to say because I don't want to trigger anyone, but I can even talk about, I'll just say the dark path that I went through. I can go more in depth if you guys want me to do that because I feel comfortable talking about it now. So with that being said, I hope you have a beautiful day, night, whenever you're watching this. I'm sending you so much love, so much blessings, so much healing energy. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you. I love you so much. And I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.